when we would come into work in the morning and when you were the first one in the building, you would always say, good morning, Wesley, or good afternoon, Wesley. So he knew that a friendly spirit was coming into the building. Well, I heard about Wesley when I was working as a part-timer. Um, I came to help one of the theater companies in the theater to build some scenery and some sets, which of course, after practice is over, you work on the scenery, so you sometimes work late into the evenings. And there are times that when I was there, I would hear some voices or some sounds, and I asked the theater director at that time, and he said, oh yeah, the building's haunted. You know, and it's something to you know, keep in mind when you're here late at night. When I started to work here, it was in October, so it was right around Halloween. So we had this psychic come through the building to kind of give us some thoughts and some experiences that we felt, you know, or where the hot spots were or things like that. And, you know, we have, you know, theater groups that come through here. And when he went up to the attic, a lot of that space up there was storage space where they would store costumes and theater, you know, pieces and, and things like that. You would, uh, get a lot of happy spirits. This building is full of a lot of happy spirits and, and Wesley tended to always be protective of the building. He was, you know, the story goes that he was the caretaker of the building and that he lived in the building in the quarters downstairs, which are mostly classrooms now. But, you know, for the, as busy as this street is and the amount of children that have come through this building, there has never been anyone seriously injured. You know, no car accidents for as many balls that roll out into the street from the playground areas um, for as you know you can have up to 200 kids here a day in this building running around and maybe using the outside space no one was ever injured it was almost like you know he protected anyone who came here and, and appreciated Westwood Town Hall